Hi everyone, so I really want to do this video. I have had these products here for a long time. I have had these two brow pencils here for so long and I've been using one religiously because I, I love it and I got that one first, but then I saw this other one online and I was like, ooh, okay, I think I have a video right here. So I got it and I'll just start by saying here. So I have the Wet n Wild Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I think, or is this Micro Brow Pencil? Then I have the Elf Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. So with the Elf Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, I've been using this one a little bit. This is the one that I've been using, and this is the one that I still have. What the hell is it? Still have yet to use. But this one is five dollars. Let me just make sure. Yeah, the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil is $5, which I think is pretty interesting because if you look at this, it's it's very thin. And it's smaller than the Brow Lift Brow Pencil that Elf has. That's $2. Don't know why, but it is what it is. It does have more colors in this one, though, so there is that. But with this... Wet n Wild Brow Pencil, it's only four fifty. so I mean, you save 50 cents, but I wanted to see if they're actually, like, comparable, because you see all of these micro brow, brow pencils on the market right now, they're everywhere, like, you know, Anastasia has them, Benefit has them, Hourglass has them, a lot of different brands have them, a lot of drugstore brands have them too, and I just wanted to do a quick side-by-side -side and see if they actually compare to each other. So I'm just going to start off with I think I just need to like get my face ready because like as we can tell my face is not ready It's just not ready for anything right now Today is Saturday. What's today for you guys? I don't know when I'll ever get this up, but I'm filming this on a Saturday And I've just been doing homework all day Right now, I'm kind of in between jobs. I'm looking for a new one because my old job is just no bueno. I think, yeah, no, it's just not working out. It's fine though, you know, thank God I uh, know other people and I'm, I'm applying really fast and I already got that one interview. I just need to see if they're ever gonna call me back never have but I'm gonna call them today I think I think I'm gonna call them back because I called yesterday and they said like oh yeah I'll call you within 24 hours and it's been 24 hours so that's why I'm like oh I should probably I should probably call them again but I don't want to be annoying you know what I mean like I don't want to seem like a I guess it's not annoying it's it shows that you're persistent. I, I don't know. I'm just in my head a lot when it comes to that. So I just I just curled my lashes. Now I'm going to be putting in the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Pencil. Brow Gel. Oh my god. Make Me Brow Brow Pencil? You're joking, Jacob. Okay. So I do this because this is my like alternative to like a brow mascara type thing. It has fibers in it, it's tinted, it's really nice, like you'll see, like, right now this is the before. Yeah, these eyelashes never can be curled as pretty as these. I don't know why, they just can't. Like, they just can't, they just don't look the same, but it's whatever. So let's just, apply, we'll just run this through, and don't worry about it being clumpy, because with this, you're not looking for precision with this, this applicator, because this is meant for the eyebrow. Just make sure you have a spoolie on hand to blend out the gel once you be once you finish putting it in because it will look clumpy sometimes. Sometimes it's too much on the applicator and other times it's just your own fault, honey. Let's be real. But other times I want it kind of clumped up and I want to really saturate these lashes so I can have a nice dramatic effect that I will blend out with a spoolie later on. Give me a second. You'll be able to notice it more on the other eyelash. I'm going to try to recurl this eyelash once this dries. 
but I'm not impressed with this one's look right now. I need to recurl those, see if I can see if I can fix it because you know what? I don't want to look crusty for you guys. And I want to say thank you to everybody that's followed me on Instagram after the campaign. I really appreciate it. It's honestly so nice to go on to my makeup page now and see so many people from before when before all this happened and more new people now be so excited for my makeup looks and not care that like I'm not the best. I'm not the best at all. Like I don't even put on false lashes because I've tried that. I just can't do it, honey. Not today. I I can't do liner, like I have to use tape, whatever. But people still accept me for the creative looks that I do without all the extra stuff and without me editing because I have a thing on my page. I don't say it, I used to say it, but I don't say it now, but I don't edit any of my pictures. It's all lighting, that's it. I only have physical lighting. I don't change the lighting after post. It's all pre-post, nothing is altered. So what you see in the picture is as if you took a picture on your phone, because that's literally what I'm doing, but that's how I wanted my makeup page to be. And I'm so happy that so many people don't care that that's how I do it, that I don't Photoshop it to make it look airbrushed or flawless or just extra, you know what I mean? A lot of people try to make it look very perfect one we know in reality it's that's not them like that's not you like look I can't there's no way makeup can cover up the physical indent here like it's going to shadow there no matter how much brightening concealer you put there it's gonna shadow because it's physically how my skin is shaped right there like I can change the coloration but that's about it you can see my post that like I you literally can't change that unless you Photoshop it. Anyways, it's my rant on Photoshop and my appreciation towards everyone that just followed me. Thank you. But um now let's get on to this. This little um battle as we should say. I'm just gonna brush my brows up, get them fixed up because I did put on, I always put on sunscreen every day. So, you know, I have to get it out of my eyebrows sometimes. It gathers there, but yeah. Look how cute my forehead's been looking. I started a retinoid. Um, I got it from, well, I got a retinol from the Inky List and that's what I've been putting underneath my eyes. And as um, all over my face, I put the different gel. Wonderful, you can get it at Walmart, 13 bucks, amazing. $10 for the Inky List one, $13 for the Walmart different one. You don't need prescription. Thank God for the retinoid one, the different, because that one's like the next level. The Inky List is a retinol, the different is a retinoid, so that one's just one more step above um, on the vitamin A like family tree thing. So that's what I think is very, like what's caused my forehead to look like that. And it's been really helping out with this. I remember this used to be so bad, but it's starting to get there. I need to wear, I need to keep on using more. It hasn't even been a full week with the product and it's already done this much. But then again, you know, my forehead did look significantly smoother and same thing with my cheeks because of the inky lit, the ordinaries. 30% AHA, BHA thing. So I'm just gonna take the e.l.f. pencil first, since this is the one I know. I'm gonna put this on my, um, for you guys. Oh shit, that'd be right? I don't know. So this, this eyebrow, I'm gonna be putting the e.l.f. one in because this is the one I can't really do the best. I can usually do this one the best. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild one, which I haven't used before, to use it on that one. You understand what I mean? So I can eliminate some of the, um, air there that I may have using it since I haven't used it before and I'm not good at doing this eyebrow. So we'll just do this one with the elf. As you guys will be able to see, I really like this one. It's extremely precise. The color is perfect on my eyebrow. Um, it's the color neutral brown. And I start by just lining the bottom. 
try to fix any of those gaps that we have there. Maybe I should turn off my fan. So you can already tell one versus the other, but we start by defining the bottom line, then slowly working it up and filling it in a little bit. And then we work at that tail, sharpen it up, try to fix all these hairs because they look like they go a certain way and then they don't. So we have to make it go a certain way. Then we're gonna blend down first bef before, I was gonna say before or prior and I said before. <laughs> and then we're gonna blend up. So the reason we blended down first was to eliminate that harsh line on top if as much as possible. So yeah, I like this pencil because look how natural that looks, but look how much better that looks. Sorry, I'm drinking Coke, so I'm gonna burp. <laughs> then, okay, as you can tell, this is the e.l.f. one right here. There's no product in this one. Looks very nice, easy to feather up front, but also easy to make it defined. I don't, I don't really like it making too defined, so that's why it doesn't look like, you know, like Instagram. So then we have this one. Honest to God, these are the exact same applicators and components to a T. Look, they're just different packaging. They're the exact same thickness. One of them may look a little bit thicker than the other. Is it gonna focus? But as you can tell, they're the exact same. I bet they're made in the exact same factory, just different labels. So, As you can see, this is why I really wanted to do this because they literally are almost the exact same. I mean, let, we'll see the formula, but the packaging, it's the same. That's a fact. All right, I'm just gonna start by fixing this tip since it's brand new, it's not like, um, it's very uh, sharp edged and I don't want that because like, who wants sharp eyebrows? So I'm just gonna be going like this on my finger, shaping it to be a little bit more round now so I can use it actually on my eyebrows. So far so not, so far so good. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm discussing. All right. Let me just bend the spoolie up a little bit. That's how I always like to use a spoolie, just a little bit bent. And let's go in. I'm not gonna talk because I'm gonna try to focus since I don't know this one. Oh, what color is this one in? It is in, does it not say? It really doesn't say on here. Ultimate brow, micro brow pencil, not tested on animal, city of industry, California, made in China. Doesn't say the um, shade, whatever, we'll get past that. But I'm usually dark brown or neutral brown. Because I'm Italian. If you, if you can't tell, I'm Sicilian. I love this eyebrow. It's so cute. It's such an Instagram brow and I'm so proud of it. Alright, let's blend her up. 
pulling those edges down, then keep blending the front up, 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 up. So I am probably slouched right now, can't probably hear me, I'm out of focus, it's okay, I don't really care. You shouldn't really care too, as long as you can hear me. Can you hear me? <laughs> then we're good, we're good. Y'all are seeing this, right? Well, let's give it one second. Let me just, let me powder my face really quick. Because we need that, honey. We need that powder. Guys, what should I get for dinner? So my parents went out and left me here. And my mom was like, um, are you just gonna, what are you gonna do for dinner? And I'm like, well, probably just gonna go out somewhere and just get something. So she gave me some money. And she gave me 10 bucks. So let's go get dinner for $10. Looks like McDonald's, Wendy's, um, ooh, Taco Bell. Okay, but do I wanna, sh you know, you know myself, like blank myself after eating Taco Bell? I mean, I don't literally, I just kind of figuratively feel like that. And I kind of want to do a makeup look after I finish my homework, so. I don't know. I don't know about that. We'll see. I, I'm kind of thinking about that because then I can get a Baja Blast. Baja Blast. I don't know why I sound so funny. Ew, I'm ugly. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the powder on, what do we think, guys? Wait, am I missing anything else? Do I need to put anything else on before we can actually judge? So I'm just like fixing it up here. Sh well, let me put on some brow gel. Let me put in some brow gel and we'll see. Not that one. This thing. So I use the e.l.f. brow, wow brow. I tried this out and at first I did not like it because so much product, and it still is this way, but so much product comes off on the applicator. You just really gotta wipe it off. But it's nice. It's, oh, someone followed me on TikTok. <laughs> I don't really use that app, but like I don't really look at stuff on the app, but I occasionally will post, but I don't like look at stuff on it. I will go on Instagram and look at stuff on it, but I won't go on it. I don't know, something about it being Chinese owned because you know, you guys know if it's a Chinese company, 51% of every Chinese company is owned by the Chinese government. So that's very worrisome when it comes to your data. Do you really want a communist country, not the fact that it's Chinese people, the fact that it's a communist country, do you want them a hold of your data? Probably not. But everyone seems to love it and seems to look past that factor. That's interesting how advanced their algorithm is. It really is kind of scary. Everyone's like, oh my god, I love it. You just have to wait like 30 minutes and then it like learns you. And I'm like, that's kind of gross. Like the fact that an algorithm can know you so well that it can, I feel like it has to look through your phone. I feel like there's some deep dark thing in the accept the terms and conditions that says, oh, we can look through data through your phone. I don't know. It's just worrisome, but I still have it. So who am I? <laughs> who am I? To say anything. Oops, oh, my opinion. It's my opinion. God, that's why I literally. Okay, wait. Let's stop getting off topic. Let's. So, what is the verdict on these eyebrows? Besides the shape, the actual pencils. This is the Elf pencil. This is the Wet and Wild pencil. 
To me, they're the exact same. They don't look any different. Which makes me happy because then I can actually just buy this Wet n Wild pencil over the Elf one and save 50 cents because I'm a cheapskate. And I know some people will be like, ah, I don't really care. Like, I'm just going to get it because it's five bucks. You can, that's fine, but I'm cheap, so I will be getting the Wet n Wild pencil after I finish up this one and this one. So it's going to take me a long time to finish up these both. Um, but yeah, and I also have these two. I'm almost done. These two I used for my looks, but I haven't been using this one because I'm trying to pan this one, which is almost done. It's almost there. But this one... She's got a, a bit there, so. You know, they're just different sizes, different. This one has like a triangle look, so it really is nice doing the ends. Not so much for the whole look. It's kind of too creamy for me to wear every single day because I want something that's light, feathery. This is very like cream palmady, so it's for like my dramatic Instagram looks. Um, that's also for this madam. <laughs> This, madam, is a pomade that they put a spoolie in. This is thick with five C's. Holy guacamole. Like, you no wonder this was talked about for a solid, like, three seconds, and then, like, boom. Because after people bought it, they're like, I can't use this every day. This is literally only for Insta- This is- This is made for Instagram looks. This is literally made- This is an Instagram product because you can whip out this. You make- Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh my god uh, and then you're just gonna be like uh now i filled in my eyebrows now let me put on the gel I'm like oh my god just from this one product like it's a gimmick and i fell for it because i thought it'd be a little bit of a lighter formula i didn't know when they said pomade like they it's, it's supposed to be a gel pomade no what part of this is a gel honey none none of this is a gel this is a pomade this is a pomade so if you're not doing like big drag makeup looks or you don't use a pomade and so i guess if you use a pomade and an eyebrow gel this would be beneficial for you but if you're someone like me that doesn't want like it to look like you have makeup in your eyebrows then don't get this don't don't waste your time with this get um oh my goodness what did you go oh Get the Wow Brow by e.l.f. or the Make Me Brow by Essence. They're both phenomenal. This one I like a little bit more than this one, but I'm really enjoying this, and its packaging is nicer than this one's. But you do get more in the Essence. And this is cheaper. This is $2.99 or $3.99. This is $5. So there's that for you. I know e.l.f.'s trying to be more luxurious and like, ugh. And to be fair, this does look a lot sleeker. This looks a lot sleeker, a lot nicer than this. This looks like crowded, chaotic. You know, they could have put just a tiny little cardboard box around it and then got rid of all that packaging. But then again, this is $2.99 or $3.99. This is much cheaper than the other one, so maybe that's why. Anyways. Yeah, so the verdict of this video, they're about the same. One's cheaper than the other. Just get what you want. Elf and Wet Wild, Wet and Wild both phenomenal. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. If there is a next one, I... Pr <laughs> I don't know, man.